So, today I'm going to be talking about Russian phenom Matvey Michkov, 2023 draft eligible, and just putting up some absolutely ridiculous numbers in Russia. So, in this video, we're going to be going over his draft rankings, some stats, and just my overall thoughts about him. So, let's get into this video. So, first things first, we're going to be going over his stats. I'll throw up a screenshot of the stats right now. As you can tell, he put up 5 points in 13 games in the KHL, which is very, very impressive considering he was just 16 years old in a league where anybody can play, ex-NHL players, 20 year olds, 30 year olds, even some 40, 50 year olds, and he put up impressive numbers. I wouldn't say they're out of this world numbers, but they're pretty solid numbers in the KHL, mostly considering he was a 16 year old. If you look back to his U16 days, those are some crazy impressive numbers. At 15, 14, he was putting up 109 points in 26 games. That would be impressive for anyone, let alone he scored 70 goals. Holy 70 goals, that's almost three goals per game. This is virtually the top talent in Russia under 16. That is absolutely mind-blowing. These are better numbers than Alex Ovechkin put up in his U16 days. I think this guy is going to be a phenomenal NHL player. And it's just crazy to think he's not even probably going to go first overall considering he's sharing a draft with a guy like Connor Bedard. I think this is going to be the Sidney Crosby, Alex Ovechkin of the 2020s and even onto the 2030s. And I think a lot of people compare Alex Ovechkin and Matt Vemichkov, which in my opinion is unfair to Matt Vemichkov. That is so much pressure on your shoulders coming into this league. He hasn't played a single professional game in North America and people are comparing the best goal scorer of all time to you. That is some high praise. Now, we're going to talk about a heavier subject, about what's going on in Russia right now, and what's happening to all the NHL prospects. Just like Ivan Fedotov recently signed a contract with the Philadelphia Flyers, and CSK Moscow did not like that, so they sent out a warrant for him, got him, and stationed him in the military. And that is not a good sign, considering Matvey Mishkov is playing in the Russian, like, Russian leagues right now, and he lives in Russia. He might, might. We'll see how the Russian situation is by 2025, but he might get held in Russia, because currently Ivan Fedotov is, I don't see any positive situation that could ha come out of that. And Kirill Kaprizov, there's something going on with him too. That's not public, like 100% public yet, but that's gonna be the risk of drafting him in 2023. And I personally still think he's gonna be the second overall pick in 2023. Although there are a lot of things that could change that. The Russian factor, and considering he signed to the KHL Intel 2025. And we'll see when he tries to make his way to North America, if he's allowed, if he's not allowed, just, it's a really hard situation he's in right now. But if he does ever make it to the league play, I'm sure he's gonna be just a phenomenal player. And I still, feel very, very strongly about a Connor Bedard versus Matt Bay Mitchkov for the next 10 years. Like, that's going to be the battle of the Sydney Crosby versus Alex Ovechkin. And you're, you're just going to see two players just 
better than anybody we've ever seen in the past 10 years. Obviously, Connor McDavid and Austin Matthews, they're both fantastic, but I really, I see a lot of upside in these two players, and it's just, it just blows my mind how, how underratedly insane of junior seasons these guys have had 109 points for Matt Bay Mitchkov in 26 games with 70 goals. What? That's never been seen before. And for Connor Bedard, just putting up over two points per game in his double underage season in the WHL. Yes, it was only 15, 16 games, but you still just never ever see that and imagine if COVID didn't stop that season he would have just destroyed but that's the end of the video I honestly am really strong on Matt Bay Mitchkov and yeah make sure to like subscribe comment share to your friends and Cider Central signing off see ya